On Monday and Tuesday, we read a story called The Lion and the Mouse, and we talked about how characters change from the beginning to the end. We're going to be reading Little Flap Learns to Fly the next two days, and we're going to be talking about how Little Flap changes from the beginning of the story to the end based on the character's actions and reactions. So today I'm going to read the story with you, and then you're, then you're going to answer a discussion question. Tomorrow you'll read the story on your own, and you'll do a writing assignment with it. So this is called Little Flap Learns to Fly. Little Flap was happy living in his nest. His friends, Fluff and Tuff, lived in the nest next to him. Every morning they sang songs together. Their parents brought them worms to eat. I want you to find someone in the room to look to to answer questions, and I want you to tell, you, tell that person who the story is about and what the setting is. You should have said that Little Flap is our main character. You may have also identified that Little Flap has some friends, Fluff and Tuff, and the setting is their nests. One day Fluff asked, can we get our own worms? Tuff said, we can if we learn to fly. Fluff said, yes, let's learn to fly. Little Flap peered over the edge of his nest. It was very high up. When he looked down, the ground seemed very far away. He felt scared. He was too afraid to tell his friends about his fear, so he kept his feelings a secret. So, Flo uh, Little Flap has a problem. What is his problem? Tell your shoulder partner. You should have said that Little Flap is afraid to fly, so he's trying to keep this a secret from his friends. Now, I see some text evidence that says he's afraid. I see right here it says he felt scared. It was very high up. The picture is also giving away how Little Flap is feeling right now. What does Little Flap look like in the picture? Tell your shoulder partner. You probably said that Little Flap is looking very scared. His knees are together. His eyeballs are very wide. His face is kind of shocked. Fluff said, let's practice flapping our wings. It will make them strong. Watch. Tuff and Little Flap watched Fluff. Then they copied her actions. So Little Flap is reacting by copying what his friend is doing. Soon it was time to fly. Little Flap could no longer keep his feelings a secret. He asked, will I fall? I don't want to get hurt. So what does little, how does Little Flap react now? His friends are getting ready to fly. How does he react? Tell your shoulder partner. So he says, will I fall? I don't want to get hurt. So he finally tells them, so he reacts through his words, and he tells them he's scared. Tuff said, you can depend on Fluff and me. We're your friends. Fluff said, I have an idea. We will go first and show you how. Then you can try. If you fall, Tuff, Tuff and I will rescue, rescue you. Tuff said, yes, we can save you. Tuff and Fluff jumped out of the nest. They flew. Little Flap looked down nervously. He still felt uneasy, and he felt, but he felt braver with his friends. Okay, he said, let's try. So I see he's still feeling uneasy, which means nervous. 
But because of his friend's actions, because his friends were brave, how is he starting to feel? Tell your shoulder partner. He's starting to feel a little brave too, right? Then he reacts through his words. He says, okay, let's try. So now he's showing us with his words that he's ready to try. The three birds stood together on the branch. They counted one, two, three, then they flapped their wings fast and jumped. Little Flap lifted into the air. You're flying just right, said Fluff. You're flying perfectly, said Tuff. All three little birds landed in a patch of soft green grass. Little Flap said, Now I know I can always depend on you, Fluff and Tuff. You are my friends. Then he found a big juicy worm and shared it with his friends. Now Little Flap likes flying. Looking at this last page, how does Little Fluff feel now? You should have said that Little Flap likes flying now. I want you to take a picture, take a look at the picture of Little Flap. And I want you to remember how he looks. His looks are really giving away how he's feeling now, how he's changed from the beginning of the story to the end. In your discussion post today, you're going to be describing how he looks in this picture. So you're going to be telling me about his feelings just based off the picture. And then tomorrow, when you read the story on your own, you're going to be telling me about how he changed through the story.